Hey everybody, Master Dragal here. Last time on Mega Man X, we beat two more areas of Sigma's Fortress, so we've done three of them now. And I've been listening to this theme so long that it restarted. That's pretty bad because this one's actually pretty long. Yeah. But okay, let's do this. This is the final area of Sigma's, uh, fortress. So, welcome to the finale, guys. This is already the end of Mega Man X. But, of course, we're doing the collection, so we will be here a while. Yeah. Okay, so what you want to do is, before climbing up and fighting Sigma, use the armored sh Shield Armadillo's power to instant kill these enemies until you fill up all your sub tanks. Why? Because you're gonna need them. I mean, oh god, you're gonna need them. So, I think last time I played this game, I apparently lost my touch so bad that I could not beat Sigma for the life of me. It was quite... it was quite sad. Well, I technically didn't get my... get here by myself. Zero kinda died to make it so I could get farther. Yeah. Okay, so this is the thing that I want to use the Hydokin on. Why? Because I got my ass kicked by Sigma last time I played this game. And I don't want to waste my sub tanks because some stupid dog is trying to kick my ass. So. Kill the dog. Because I just don't want to deal with its shit. Okay. Otherwise, if you want to fight the dog on like a speed run or low damage run without any upgrades or the Hydokin, the best way is to use the ice ability. The dog is weak to ice and it is something that you should use. So, let it begin the fight against Sigma. Which, if I can do this right, it will be relatively easy. So, you just jump up here, wait for him to jump up, and hit him. This boss takes forever. As you notice, we're hitting him with uh, Zero's uh, Buster, and it's doing one damage. Yeah. This boss takes an obscene amount of time just to do the same thing like 10, 15 times. Or how many times I'm doing this. I don't know, it's a lot. Just be careful when you fall because, well, he'll start coming down and he might land where you're standing. And I really need to stop getting hits. I don't know, I'm being distracted because I'm trying to talk. Ow. Okay, I was hoping I could get up here before he got back down, but apparently not. But yeah, a uh, repetitious boss right here. Very, very boring. He just bounces around trying to touch you. Now if you're on the floor, it's quite different and you kind of can't fight him when he's on the floor. Because, well, he will just use his saber there and block all of your attacks. I mean, even the attack that hurts him. He'll just block it with the sword and then you won't be able to do anything.
Okay, my attack went right through him. That was kind of funny. Okay, well, I'm going to have to use a sub tank on this boss, so that's most unfortunate. Because the second part of him... What? Bosses have more than one form? What is this madness? Yeah. Sigma has two forms. Spoilers. Oh. But yeah, it's very, very, very irritating. Because to beat that form, Sigma has a sweet spot. You can only hit him in that sweet spot. And where is that sweet spot, you ask? His head. Yeah. You have to hit him in the head. Oh, yeah, I... I gotta heal. <laughs> okay, um... Now, there's multiple ways of finding this guy. I personally like using the shield... It helps out quite a bit because, well, you can't hit, uh, Sigma without a charge weapon. So, if you don't charge your weapon, you can't hurt him. The rolling shield, on the other hand, just, it just hits him. No questions asked. Nothing. You just, you just go over and smack him in the face with shield. Now, this attack is fun because, well, it's been a while since I've gotten the timing right to go between the electricity. Yeah, sometimes I get lucky, other times I do not. Just kind of had to roll with the dice, try to dash between the electricity, run away from the fire, and don't get shocked by the other random things coming out of his hands. Not too bad, right? Well, seeing as I'm only doing like two damage, it's actually not all that bad. I don't know how much damage you would do if you were using like the fully charged X-Buster, but yeah just easier this way. I think it does more damage, and I totally nerfed that attack. Wow, talk about fail. I mean, I got up there, I jumped right next to his head, and then I didn't push the button until I was already, like, halfway falling away. Yeah. Come on! Can I please get the timing one more time, just so I can feel better about myself for failing at it all these years? I mean, seriously, when I was young, I was really good at this game. Because I knew the timing and the frames and all that stuff. But it's like right now, I'm, I'm failing at it miserably. Thank you. And I almost set the fire, and that thing's trying to shock me with his hand. And one more hit, and he is dead. There's the hand, and bye. We have beaten Mega Man X. I'm a Reploid too, you know. You know, Reploids destroying other Reploids. I haven't done this to us, I've done this to you. Sounds like a personal problem, dude. Sorry. So somehow we teleport out of there 
and land on an island next to it. Why can't I just teleport to the bosses? I don't know. But hey, we beat the boss and I didn't fail horribly like I used like I did last time. So that's the end of this part of Mega Man X Collection. Next time on Mega Man X we will be take or Mega Man X Collection, we will be taking on Mega Man X two. My favorite game of the three that were made for the Super Nintendo. Why, you ask? Oh, you don't want to know. Well, actually, you probably will know because I'll have to cut the video because I want to enjoy that part of the game a little too much. <laughs> Don't worry, Mega Man, you don't figure out the answer for the next seven games. And by the next seven games, I mean the next five games, because the last two did not exist. The last two did not exist. Yeah, I'm staring at you, viewer. Not really, but, you know, the last two Mega Man X games did not exist. I do will not believe that they exist. They, they were pretty bad. I did not enjoy them. So, at this point, we get a summary of all the enemies that were inside each stage. As Mega Man just like runs across the intro stage, kinda. Is the intro stage if the intro stage wasn't destroyed when you played the game? I guess. You could say it that way. Or you could just say it's a random highway. Something. But yeah. Kill Penguin, easiest boss ever. Launch Octopus, I hate you unless if I have the ability that makes you super easy. Storm Eagle, also was easy. Armored Armadillo, he always gives you a little bit of problem, but mostly when you're trying to figure out how the rolling round works. Uh, let's not even talk about how that went. I died. Let's leave it at that. I hate that guy. The second, the other easiest boss in the game. He, he's really tough without the power up because uh, Boomerang Quanger will teleport through all your shots, pretty much. So you'll be stuck trying to shoot him, and he'll just teleport in some random direction. Like, 10, 15 times. It gets really long and tedious. Yeah. More credits! I really have nothing more to say because this isn't the end of the LP, because the LP itself is all of Mega Man X Collection, not just this game. But I have to show the credits because something happens after the credits, and I have to show that. Why? Because I took the time to 100% this game, and I'm going to show the things. So, I hope you guys don't mind that I, like, cheese the 
that I just like completely and utterly destroyed Vile and I didn't show that fight. I just completely and utterly destroyed him. Um, same thing with the dog. I hope you guys don't mind that I just completely like destroyed the dog. If you guys want, you can leave comments telling me, hey, I wanted to watch you fight the dog, or I wanted you to fight the vile. And I will go and be like, you know what, you're right. I will go back and I will do that in a bonus episode. And I will go back and I will show the fight against vile and uh, the puppy thing. Hey, I killed you. You should not be talking to me. Okay, his spirit remains intact. Yep, so... That is pretty much the idea behind Mega Man X. Because you go around and you fight Sigma at the end of pretty much every game. Because he keeps on finding new body... So, he's basically like a virus or something, and yeah, you just fight him like a million freaking times. Okay, so, next time we'll be going on to Mega Man X, so I will see you all then. Later.